just talk about uh, Josh van der Fleer and uh, his proud Johannesburg heritage here. <laughs> Oh man, that was, um, I remember starting that a few years ago because um, there's a, a certain subsection of, of Irish journalists, sports journalists, who for whatever reason have a bit of a problem when it comes to South African players, certainly when it comes to South African project players um, around the time, because this was when CJ Stander was just kind of coming in to uh, the Irish reckoning, you know, when he was uh, after qualifying on residency. And um, I just thought it would be funny that these guys and a lot of the journalists who were talking about it just don't really know a whole lot about rugby. So I figured, like, is it possible to make these guys think that Josh van der Fleer, who was actually born in, in Wicklow in Ireland, <laughs> would it be possible to try and convince them just by repeating it over and over and over again that he was actually a project player? And it's actually ended up being so successful. It's ended up, uh, I think, uh, Davies, you know, that Jiffy guy who's on BBC repeated it once completely irony free, had assumed he was actually a, a project player. And uh, I think South African Rugby Magazine did it last week as well, which I, I think they were in on the joke, I think. But uh, it and the reason why it's still funny is because people are still reacting to it. <laughs> it's uh, every time I see it at this stage, I just I just I just laugh. No, it, it was brilliant as well. As we did a um, undercapped South African team um, last week. So guys that haven't got enough uh, Springbok caps. And we put the question out on Twitter. And one of our first replies was, Josh van der Fleer has to be there. <laughs> so 